the designated hitter, Walmer. Matt Walmer. First Whoa, offering and it just misses. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in. One swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And here it comes. Foul ball. The pitch. Ball two. Stays alive. The pitch. Set down on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Here's Trevor Larnick. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Larnick, 27 years old, a former first round pick back in 2018. And he pumps it a strike. The Phillies up big in this one here in the last half of the third. Next All offering one. is downstairs. Hey. Struck him out. He says, I don't care about draft rounds. Take a seat. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, for but the pitcher will Let's take, take that all back. day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but Ooh, he yeah. found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow all him to get that count. call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. That one the other way. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Twins retired in short order. They continue to trail 7-0. And we're back. Start of the fourth. Now here is Christian Pache. Pache. Woods Richardson back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. Swings and misses. Oh, and two now. She can live up in the Yo. What's good, bro? If guys will chase it, that's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And he deals. On the ground to third. Whips it to first. One up, one down. Back to the top of the lineup. And digging in for Philadelphia. Trey Turner. He's over for one. Center field. Turner is out. Two down. Two outs. Base is empty. Now it's going to be Whit Merrifield. One for two. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh and one. There's a swing and a drive. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And he's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. The Just a solid swing three. right there. Caught it out right. front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Bryce Harper to the plate. He's already homered in this game. Smoke to right center, and this one's going to go out of here. A 
a gigantic blast. His second home run of the game, it's 9 0. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on the platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. So two away with nobody on. This is Bryson Stott. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Woods Richardson over to first. Stop. Dives back in safely. First pitch misses. And that's outside. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Out to short. Whips it to Kirillov. And Castellanos is out. And that is the inning. Bryce Harper brings the power for Philly. It's now 9-0. You're watching Phillies baseball on the show Northeast. And welcome back to the leading ballpark. The John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. Baseman. And leading off the Alex. bottom of the fourth, Alex Kirillov. Kirillov. That's ball off one. the mark, and that's ball one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and now get quick outs. Here's Royce Lewis. Lewis. That swing right there tells Lewis. me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce well, a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Foul ball there. Ground ball right side. Merrifield. Oh, the throw is over his head. That's oh, a dangerous throw for the, the first baseman to try to handle right, right there. Exposed him right. to a potential collision. First and day. we've all seen some of the ugly ones over the years on plays similar to that one. So it's great. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. Buxton, the next to hit, takes outside. Here's the pitch. Runner Ball goes. Right Ball misses. Throw. Ow. Tag. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Wow, what an incredible throw right there. And he might not have had time to get to his feet and catch that runner. That's an incredible display of arm strength. That's the inning. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Brent Hedrick. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Real Muto up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Josh Winder warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. The lefty the 1 0. Smoke to right center, and this one's going to go out of here. A massive home run. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 10 0. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark.
Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. That one is absolutely belted. And that gets down into the gap. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Everything came now together back. for him. They're nice crazy. job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it, and he beats it. He's safe. Now that the Here's Christian Pache. Christian Pache. Swung on, belted. Larner going back. Grabs it right up against the wall. Runner tags for home. He scores on the sack fly. It's 11 to nothing. Trey Turner at the plate. Trey Turner. Now a screamer into the outfield. Kepler puts it away for the out. Two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. Uh, for looking Philadelphia. for one of those loop hits the to get a knock team. sometimes. With Man at first, Merrifield. and stepping in is the speedy Whit Merrifield. Two outs. And that one is lifted in the air. Nice grab on the run. And that is that. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies 11 and the Twins nothing. We head to the bottom Leading of the fifth. The Stepping twins. in, Carlos Correa. Carlos. The wind of the pitch. Correa. Well, every oh. pitcher wants run support, and having a lead nope, is nice, nope. but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have Whoa, too much finesse, down. go after hitters and get quick outs. 2 0. That one hit to right. And that oh, will oh. drop foul. Next offering is down low. Now three to one. one oh, they've had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Castellanos snags it, and there's one away. Ryan Jeffers at the play. Minnesota. He's got Look at pop, that. which is oh, a little yeah. sneaky because he's Get so through. comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. The Phils up big in this one. Last half of inning number five. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And there's two down. Now batting Max now Kepler. Batting the right fielder. Max Kepler. That one misses. And it's one to know. Two out spaces empty. Right through there for a strike. And Aye. strike two. Looking sharp. One Just ball. a strike away from two five strike. shutout innings. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Left hand batter waits. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still, a one and two count. The pitch. Three. And down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Twins are set down, one, two, three. 
They trail in this one 11 to nothing. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Josh Winder. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And now here is Harper. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. That's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Harper gets his lead at first with nobody out. in quickly first and second now with nobody out here's Nicholas Castellanos one for three and ball. there's a ball not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's you know perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning to come into an inning with pressure on it and, Ooh, and try to get side. yourself comfortable Kicks and fires. Nope. That's inside. No outs. Runners at first and second. And he walked him. Four. Take your base. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. JT Real Muto steps in. And that one fouled off. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher is up against the wall. That's out to center field. He's got it. Runners tag up from second and third. Throw is high and over his head. Now batting. Brandon Let's March, hit. the next Brandon to hit. March. And the ball first one. pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. That one ripped. And that should be extra bases. One run is in. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score. He Two runs are in. It's 14-0. Cody Thunderbird taking over on the mound. Alec. And now it's Boom. Alec Bohm. In the air, right side. Kepler brings it in. Yeah, there's two away. And now, Christian Pache. In the air, left field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. Phillies on top, 14 to nothing. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the DH, Matt Wollinger. As he turns on the rubber, here with that good live arm delivers. The other way, jump throw, not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. The effort was there no with bad. the jump throw. You no gotta luck. love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really no impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop can even make that play. The Twins with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom of the sixth. Off oh, the mark up. there. And that's ball one. Oh, 
And another ball. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in. You see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for a strike. Nice job. And the pitch. That one missing inside. Out towards left center. Marsh moves under it. Marsh pulls that one down. So the lineup flips oh, over. Minnesota. Here's the second the baseman, second baseman. Edouard Julien. Edward Julien. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, one Julien measures six feet two inches, 24 years old, and he was born no. in Canada. Just missed. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball, third base side. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's a one two. Hard ground ball, base knock. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Here's Alex Kirilov. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Don't play the situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Walner over at second. Julian at first. One gone. Good job to fight that one off. Grounded to third. Could be two. To second, there's one double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Phillies lead this one 14 to nothing. And we're back. Here's Trey Turner. As the lefty gets to work. And a swing and a miss. Activity in the bullpen. Griffin Jacks warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Peel bar also throwing. Swings here and blasts one left field. That's back there. Say goodbye to that one. He circles the bases. It's 15 nothing. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. Yo, right there, what's good, Isaac? Whit Merrifield up to the plate. On the ground, Julian fires over to first. Would be tippy. First out, the top of the seventh. Number three. Here's Harper right. now. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next. Hey, I appreciate that. At that. First Whoa, pitch, and he now. just misses. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Not Whoa. even close nope, there. Right. Now 2-0. Oh. That one is hammered. Right field. Kepler reaching back towards the wall. Pulls it in on the warning track. Plenty of extra carry on that ball to right right there. Almost got out of here thanks to the win. It's Just chilling in the back. Two outs. Base is empty. Bryson Stop stands in for the Phillies. Appreciate you guys. That one lifted to left. Larner 
Should have this one. Hauls it in to end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Seventh inning stretch time. This is Phillies baseball on the show Northeast. Back Leading now as it'll be a pinch hitter Twins. to lead off. The Christian Vasquez. Christian Vasquez. Wheeler back to work. Pop foul out of play off to the right. The wind of the pitch. Late with the swing there. Oh and two. Now this is in the air down the line. Marsh on the move. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. And a quick out number one. No, Just pulled off of it a little really? bit right there. That front shoulder That's coming good. open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go oh, up the middle that. the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. One down, base is empty. Aye. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Throw to first, gets the out, two down after the strike. Well, that's pretty much the dream two strike curveball. If you're the pitcher, hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. The Phillies up big in this one. Here at the bottom of the seventh. That one finds the zone and one and one. Two outs. Just in, missing there. Through. And the count is two and two. It's a good take. Fly ball down the line. Marsh on his way over. Brings it in for the third out. So remaining in the game defensively, Willie Castro. He'll be out now center now Houston. after pinch hit. Also into the ball Kyle. game, Kyle Farmer. Farmer. He's in at shortstop. Caleb Thielbar gets the ball now. Now, now into the ball game Number on defense, Carlos Farmer. Santana. He's Santana. the new third baseman. And now the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. And the pitch. There's the strike. Big swing and a miss. Quickly in an 0-2 okay, count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. There's a line drive to left field. Dives and makes the catch. Just a great job of concentration there as he leaves the ground to go airborne to make a diving catch. That's a tough play, but he got the job done. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Misses outside, one and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Griffin Jacks warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. The one one is fouled off. One and two now. Just yep, misses the out. mark outside the zone. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. That one misses. 
Counts full, three and two. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one back. Out of here. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 16 to 0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Base is empty one away. Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. That clips the inside corner for a strike. All one's the count. One run across in the frame so far, and we're in the top of the eighth. And the 0-2. Check ball. swing, no two appeal. Three. Not two close ball. with two that three. one, and the count is even, two and two. At the belt and fires. That's hard hit in the line. And there's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back, just attack. That one ripped. And it one hops the wall around third. He'll score, and the lead continues to grow. Well, Singy, he is locked no, in no. there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Digging in, Christian Pache. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Boom. Over at second, one down. That one, one misses. And that is ball one. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Swing, and that ball smashed on the line. And he can't make the play. Here comes Boom around third. The throw is offline. He's safe. And they extend their lead. Griffin Jacks on the pitch out of the pen here. Here's Turner now. He's already homered here in this one. Trey Turner. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Larner pulls it down. Runner tagging for third. He's hey. in there. And now for the Up Phillies, for Whit Merrifield. The second baseman, Whit Merrifield. Hey. He swings and misses at the first pitch. All in one. Well, pretty clear to me, he's trying to go deep right there. But you got to get a pitch that you can handle. And oh. ball one. comes the runner from third and the lead continues to grow in safely with a double his second of the day well done drives in the run anytime you rip a line drive the other way you feel really good about what you did at the plate you trusted your hands you let them all travel and you took the barrel straight to it that's great work right there two outs and one in scoring position Gets the call, and it's 0-2. No 
just oh, missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Just oh, misses. And that's ball two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and a base hit. Coming home. He will score. And they extend their lead. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So five runs in the inning as they bat around. Last half of the eighth coming up. The Phillies lead it 20 to nothing. Bottom eight. Welcome Four back as we've got a pinch hitter. The Manuel hit. Margot. Margot. And a pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. No that he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. That's, That's down ball. and in. Right hander kicks deals. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Boom. Drifts towards it. And that's a foul ball. And the pitch. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. The one two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And Marco able to spoil that one. The nope. next pitch misses. Outside. Two balls, two strikes. And base hit. So he gets a hit after a long battle with the pitcher. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel oh, on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. The 0-1. Hey. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Margot on at first. Nobody out. And they'll do it again. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Now he's desperately looking. for that swing and miss he's gonna have to just change speeds a little bit try to move it around create just a little bit of illusion at the end that one just misses and it's one, one and two but the leadoff man gets on you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two that's a base hit throw back in quickly First and second now with nobody out. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice hey. extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Walmer stands in now and watches strike one. 
And a foul ball. First and second here, no outs. And nope. downstairs. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. And nope, that's, that's off the, the inside two. edge. And yeah, that's ball two. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that nine. count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. That one fouled off. And it's one and one. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That's back there. And he brings it into the warning track. Runner tags and will move up to third. Well, that one ended up a lot closer to home run than I thought off the now bat. Clearly didn't get the it all. Base, but with that wind blowing oh, out to right. right, almost pushed that one over the wall. Yeah. That Outside, misses the zone. Cool. One and oh. And that clips the inside corner. One ball, one strike. Runners on first and third, two away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. The pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That was blasted to the moon. And they throw three on the board. It's 20 to three. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. It's so tough to come in as a pinch hitter and have success. I mean, you really have to keep yourself locked into the game and ready at any time. So it's always impressive to me when someone jumps in there and hits it out. It's a huge lift for your ball club as well. So now pitch hitter for Minnesota, Jose Miranda. Gregory Soto takes over on the mound. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. In there for strike one. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Banks and misses, it's a strikeout. <laughs> Staying in the game on defense, Jose now, Miranda. He pitched hit last half and now takes over at first. Tomorrow. Leading off, of Nick Castellanos. The right fielder, the and remember, he was yeah, absolutely yeah. robbed of a base hit last time up. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. And they add to their lead. It's 21 to 3. Sitting first pitch fastball, and that's what he delivered. He guessed right, squared it up, and he made it look way too easy. to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing and now it is JT real Muto. and first offering is fouled off Jacks a righty that throws with power he throws a slurve a four seamer a sinker a changeup and occasionally uses a cutter in the air right field and no one can get to it it's a foul ball
The pitch. Good Whoa, eye right, right there. Next oh, pitch is outside. Would Thank chase you. that time. This to third. Santana. And Real You're Muto out. is out. So digging in now, now for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh. Up the middle, Farmer sends it to first, two away down. And digging in for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. And first offering is fouled off. The Phils up big in this one here at the top of the night. In the air right field. Kepler makes the catch and that's the third out. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The and now it's the switch hitter, the Carlos baseman. Santana. Carlos. The pitch. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Soto, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to one. string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. One ball, two strikes. Here's a 1-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Foul ball still a one and two count. And here it comes. That ball just is. missed. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control and command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. Marsh sizes this one up, takes it in for the out. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take now advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and really? you're hoping that you know somehow, some yeah, way, bro. whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk something bad happens because outside of that stuff is just too good to fail kicks and deals all one that's a little bit low and he's got deception in his delivery and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters he just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up it gets on them a little got bit it. quicker than they anticipate even though they know what the velocity the numbers are not sure so not. they're down to their got final it. out cow farmer up Farther. to the plate now the first pitch just misses And pitch clips the outside corner. And a count oh, even, right. one and one. Two outs. And two now one. two and one. That oh, one three. missed. Kicks and fires. Aye. And down to their final strike. Full count, three, two. This could end it. And the pitch. Three. And that'll do it. Offensive explosion today for these players. They gave up a few runs, but they had more than enough firepower to turn this one into a blowout. Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
time of the ball game, four hours and one minute. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.